Gaspacho for Nacho by Tracy Carr. Gaspacho for Nacho. Does he have a giant tomato? Mm-hmm. It's bigger than him. Yeah, he's a In a big, big city by a large, busy plaza lived a very small boy in a simple white casa. What's casa mean? I don't know. House. The name of this tiny muchacho was Nacho. What does muchacho mean? Nacho? Muchacho means child. And all he would eat was a soup called gazpacho. Gazpacho for breakfast, gazpacho for lunch, gazpacho for dinner, for snack and for lunch. He didn't like meat or the smell of pescado. What does pescado mean? Fish. Oh. Fish. He didn't like chicken or ice cold helado. Helado means? Uh, ice cream. Good job, ice cream. And when he saw slices of man, man, manchego cheese, he asked, Is there many gazpacho left, please? Oh, is there any gazpacho left, please? Oh, he doesn't even like cheese. Mommy would say, You are picky, muchacho. Mommy means mom. What does muchacho mean again? I don't know. Boy, child. Nacho will say, but I want just one gazpacho. At breakfast, he woke up to leche and churros. What does leche mean? Milk. Good job. He cried, hey, mama, I, this is food for the burros. What does burros mean? Uh, it's in the picture. I don't know what his name is. I'll uh, give you a hint. <laughs> a donkey. Good job. I know that, but I did not know what that was. And you see the, the plate is the, where the churros are. It's a, it's a Spanish snack. For, snack. for snacks, mommy slice up chorizo and bread. Nacho would ask for gazpacho. Instead, at lunchtime, lunchtime, mommy serves Spanish tortillas. Nacho would put the pan under his silla. What does pan mean? It's right here on the floor. What? Good job. What does silla mean? It's right there. Oh. Uh, under his ch chair. Chair. Good job. Look at all the tortillas flying around. <laughs> it's um corn. At dinner, mommy tried mush. Oh, mommy fried mushrooms or setas. I don't know what setas are. And served them with rice next to crispy croquetas. Who doesn't like rice? Uh, apparently, he doesn't. Fried. He didn't say rice. He said fried mushrooms and setas. Oh. Fried mushrooms. And they said hot dogs. I think so. Let's read. Let's see. And served them with rice. Oh, yeah, you're right. It's right there. Rice next to crispy croquetas. You know what croquetas are? Uh, nope. I, I thought croquetas were dog food. But it could be cookies, too. If they're going that way. She filled up a bowl with fresh loaves of bread. Because pan means... Pan means... Bro. Brandon, what pan means? It's right here. She's throwing it from the... I just said it. Bread. Bread. Good job. And wiped up a custard dessert she called flan. Oh my goodness. That is flan, Brandon. It's not hot dog. It's flan. It's a... Uh, it's a... Uh, it's a yummy You can no... You can't know if you like it or not if you never tried it. Yeah, it's yummy dessert. I like it. And whipped up the custard dessert she called flan. Oh. And I think she glued rice to clams. Oh yeah, there's the rice right there. No, she made a thing. She made little rice balls. All of the foods were rejected by Nacho. Gazpacho, 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 he cried. 
Más gazpacho. Más means more. Más gazpacho. Más gazpacho meaning more gazpacho. There wasn't a plato that nacho would touch. What plato means? Plate. Plate. Good job. Plato means plate. Mommy grew tired from cooking so much. Nacho, she cried. It's not right. No es justo. It's not right means the same as no es justo. That all of these meals are not to your gusto. Gusto means to your liking. You are coming with me to the market. We are shopping. I am learning to cook, Nacho asked, his eyes popping. The market was bustling. People were looking for all the legumbres, means all their vegetables they needed for cooking. Nacho's mouth water while gazing at piles of colorful vegetables stretched out for miles. Onions, potatoes, and cebollas. What is this one? I don't know. On onions. Onions and papas. Papas means potatoes. Boom, bamboo and spinach. Bamboo is pinaca. Bamboo, bamboo. I'm kind of cute. We're sending this spell, but the spell different. Two O's and then at the other end is one U. Spinach means a spinaca. Cucumber, mushroom, and they're translating it in the other side. Pepinos and setas. Oh, setas means mushroom. Lettuce and lentils, lechuga y lentejas. Corn, avocado, maíz y aguacate. <laughs> Is that actually what the boys, is that actually what the supermarket is? Mm, it's not that giant vegetables, it's just his imagination. And last but not least, bright red juicy tomatoes. Tomates. See, tomatoes, said mommy. For you to cook nacho, you'll learn, you'll learn to prepare your beloved gazpacho. Ole! Nacho cried. I can cook. Yes, I can. And of to the puestos, puestos means the marketplaces, of vegetables he ran. He gathered tomatoes that smell fresh and clean and found a pepino. What does pepino mean? Let's go back. Pepino, pepino. It means cucumbers whose skin was dark green. I thought it was light it was a little better, but hey. Okay. Among all the colorful, fresh alimentos, alimentos means food, he picked out a few crispy green pimientos, again, peppers. He added a small clove of garlic, or ajo, garlic ajo, and set off for home, to begin el trabajo. Trabajo means job. But he's not talking about going to work. It's meaning he's going to do the cooking. Dressing the part with a huge chef sombrero. Sombrero means the big thing that he has in his head is the chef's hat. Nacho felt just like a true cocinero. Cocinero means a chef. With bright red tomatoes piled up. To his chin, he looked up at mommy and said, let's begin. They colored. Oh, they colored and sliced and they sliced and they seeded the pounds of tomatoes and peppers they needed. Huh. Same thing happened to me with one of my favorite foods. Mommy then carefully chopped a cebolla. Cebolla means onions. Natural health finding a pot. A large olla. What is he holding? A large pot? Yep. Olla means pot. Nacho, said mommy. I need the pepino. The pepino is a... Let's see. Pepino is a... Pepino. It's a cucumber. Let's see. 
I think it's making you hungry, Ma. Huh? I think it's like making you hungry. Nah. What a good niño. Yes, it makes you hungry. What a good boy. Niño means boy. Mommy then crumbled some bread in the pot and left it to soak till it softened a lot. They sprinkled some salt and it flew through the air. Ay, Nacho, cried Mommy. The bull over there. S lastly, she sizzled a very, a very small drop of oil and vinegar over the top. Oh, Mommy, say that. Ay! Hey, she blended the soup in a big batidora. Batidora means blender. And left it to chill in a fridge for one hour. Order, hour. Dinner that night was a wonderful treat. Look at the plates and everything they made dirty. Nacho called mommy. La cena, come eat. Cena means dinner. La dinner, come eat. Nacho rushed into the kitchen and saw the balls of gazpacho and stood there in awe. Bowl after bowl after bowl of gazpacho, cooked by a clever, creative muchacho. Muchacho means boy. He sat down to eat with a grin, giant sonrisa. Sonrisa means grin, and finished the soup very quickly. De prisa. Quickly means prisa. Nacho was happy, but deep in his heart, he knew that gazpacho was only the start. He thought of her fresh, tasty meals he would make, the foods he would cook, and the sweets he would bake. Eagerly off the, to the kitchen, he dashed, where all the legumbres, meaning vegetables, were stashed. Mommy, he said, do I love my gazpacho? I'm trying new recipes. Call me. Chef Muchacho. What does Muchacho mean again? 